Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is Anya back with another video and today we are gonna take a look at MapleStory new update coin shops and meso shop everybody so as you guys already know I have enough coins to bankrupt the whole coin shop as well as the meso shop everybody so in this whole video uh it's gonna be everything in this whole area which is called neo castle right if you want to skip to that specific coin shop or, or, or meso shop or special shop over here you can go to the uh, timestamp in the video description to check out more about that right so in this whole video i'm going to showcase everything in this uh whole neo uh castle event right and you're gonna basically see how does the item looks like before you buy it and how does it work right so all of that is in this video so stay tuned so just a quick intro about Neo Castle. Neo Castle is actually a map uh, when Maple Wall and Grandis merge together. This is the space that's being created, right? When they merge, you know, Glory update previously when they merge, right? This is the map. So it's actually a very beautiful map. I love this castle. The BGM is very nice as well. So right now we're gonna take a look at hey hey the coins, everybody. So this other coins that you need to farm there are different mechanics and there's also a special coin over here which is not up here but we're gonna explain that later on don't worry that's just for the special shop right so now first things first the first neo coin over here which is the neo stones this is called the neo stones remember the name okay neo stones neo stones you can get 300 per day Per character, right? This is about killing monsters only. Don't need to worry about it. You just need to remember this is about killing monsters. As long as you kill mobs within your level, you'll be able to get new stones. The cap is 300 per day per character. On Sundays, it is 600, okay? And uh, nearing to the end of the event, right? They're gonna buff this up on Sundays. It'll be three times. Three times. That means it's 900. Right, so in KMS, it is like one month we get every Sunday, it's like 900. So, for other servers, not sure yet, check the patch notes and event notes for the uh triple uh buff over here for this special uh Sunday, okay? Right, so you gotta take note of that. So, this is new stones about killing monsters only per character 300 per day, 600 on Sundays, nearing to the event 900, okay? And then, uh, nearing the event on Sundays 900, and then we have this one. Neo Gems. Neo Gems, the blue color one, is all about mini games. All about mini games. You can only get Neo Gems by playing mini game. There's no other way to get it. The only way to get it <laughs> is by playing mini games. That's it, right? This is 100 per day per character. Okay? The coin count is 100 per day per character for the Neo Gems. Sundays is 200. It's double. But, but, Similar to the Neo Stones, nearing to the end of the event is triple. That means on Sundays it will be triple, right? So it'll be 300 on Sundays. You have to check the patch notes and event notes for the, the duration of this one. When is it gonna happen for the triple one? Okay, so stay tuned for that. So that is for the new gems mini games. Now, this one new course, the most important one of all. This one is killing bosses only killing bosses itself right this is the new cost only killing bosses okay so 400 per week per world remember 400 per week per world okay this is all about killing bosses right as long as you kill like hard bosses chaos bosses anything above that you will get a specific amount of new cost 400 per week per world this one, we're gonna take a look at that in the Neo Course Coin Shop section, right? If you wanna go to that on the point system wise, you can skip to that part, right? So this is just for the bossing part. Now, so these are the three of them. And the one of this is actually the special shop which you can buy the EXP potions, which you have to coin cap. You have to cap the Neo Stones in order to get into that map to go for uh, the potions, right? So we're going to take a look at that later on, right? Don't worry about that. So now let's get into the first shop of all. The first shop, we're going to talk to our very nice 
Arab girl over here, right? Which is Aisha. Right? Aisha over here sells the Grove Neo Stone Shop, right? She is the Grove Neo Stone Shop with anything that's related to the growth, right? Your your character growth. Over here, this coin shop over here, you can only buy with the Neo Stones. Okay, so first item of all, you can see that this there's a first. There is a second over here. Yeah. So, the trick is that there is a two release period. The first release period is that there's no restriction. When the event release, you'll be able to access this whole shop already. Right? The first, first area over here. First stage. The second stage over here, you need to have 500 Neo Stones accumulatively. Right? It doesn't matter if you spend over here. You, uh, for example, you're in, in the first uh, stage over here, you already get 5,000 uh, Neo Stones. There's already 5,000 over here. But you spent 4,000 already. That means you have 1,000 left, right? But never mind. Because it's accumulative, this will unlock as well. Because the requirement is 5,000 Neo Stones accumulative. As you can see up here, the, the I mean, this, this over here, right? There is accumulative and there is the remaining coins that you have. So I have one, 15,100 coins over here, right? And accumulatively, I also have 15,100 coins because I haven't bought anything yet, right? So they will tell you that you what is your cumulative and what is your current remaining one. So don't worry about that, okay? So first item of all, 2x EXP for 15 minutes. You can do buy this two per day per character. Very nice, untradeable, all right? Then we have Power Elixirs, Unlimited, okay? Then we have uh, Terry Rock, one day Terry Rock, right? World Terry Rock, once per day per character, okay? Then uh, we have the Pendant Expansion Slot, right? It's a seven days Pendant Expansion Slot. You can buy this every seven days, every week, all right? Every week, they're gonna reset it, right? Every week when they reset it, then you can buy it already. So very nice indeed. And then we also have this Tracks Potion, two of them per character, then we also have the uh, character expansion slot, 20 per world, everybody. Very nice indeed. And we also have this uh, character expansion slot, 5 per world. And if your character is already, a character slot is already maxed, you will not be able to buy this because it's already maxed. So yeah, so you need to have at least one slot in order to buy this, okay? Then we have AP reset per character, once per character. We have 20 and 30 mastery books unlimited. We have the job exchange uh, coin over here, which is once per character. This is inter, inter uh, account tradable. That means you can trade to other characters if you were to buy on this specific character itself. Then uh, we also have monster life. Uh, the seven, uh, seven monster life gem voucher over here. Three per world per week okay three power per week over here then we also have the next one which is the fatigue potion once per day per character then we also have the random right monster life eight it gives you a random monster life three power world only okay then we also have this all oh, this very nice symbols over here all right so all the symbols are 50 per character and if you can't see the uh, uh, symbols over here that means your character has not completed the uh, specific area map right you have to complete the full map story quest in order to unlock this all right so if you have not completed for example Asphera you'll not see that Asphera symbol over here right so yeah and the rest of them we have this one very nice indeed uh, this is the Core Gemstone 20 Power. Okay, very nice indeed. Then we have this very nice Ornamentals 10 Power, everybody. Okay, now second stage over here. Second stage it requires 5,000 accumulative new cores, everybody. And you have a specific date over there that you will unlock at a specific time. So make sure that you look at the date and time before you uh, start to say, oh, why can't I buy the item? Yeah, it's unlocked at a specific period, okay? So this is an extreme growth potion. Extreme growth potion, 10 per wall. It does not work with Terra burning characters, right? Or any burning characters. It does not work. So yeah. 
Don't, don't, don't buy on a burning character. You're gonna waste it. I tried it. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah. So this one over here, it gives you a random level for 141 to 200. When you when you double click on it, it will show you like what is the percentage of the level you're gonna get. And when you click on it, you, if you have a very good chance, you can get 10 levels. Of it, all right. So it will tell you the gauge over here. So this is 10 per world. The next item over here, which is the mysterious Arkin symbol box, you open it, you'll be able to get random amount of symbols. Right, random amount of symbols, ten per world, right? And then of of course we also have the uh, special medal of owner, five per world is random as well. Or random medal of owner. Then we also have core gemstone box, random as well. It depends on your your luck. You're gonna get how many of them. This is ten per world as well. Now, the third stage, which is the fifteen thousand neo stones, right? Fifteen thousand neo stones over here, accumulative. You'll be able to unlock the Aha! Uh -huh. 10 arcane symbol box. So these are 10, okay? Regardless, you open how many of the box, it only gives you 10 only. It's a fixed amount, right? So we have all this over here, right? Once you open one box, it gives you 10 of that specific symbol. We have, we have uh, Road of Vanishing, Choo Choo, all the rest of them. Uh, as similar to the previous one, if you have not go through the area, you will not be able to see that specific uh, uh, box over here. So it's 10 per world, okay? And we also have this one, uh, the Medal of uh, Owner. This is 10 also, 2 per world. Uh, and also we have Core Gemstone. You open it, you get 10 Core Gemstone. This is 5 per world over here. Then we also have the EXP Core Gemstone, everybody. When you open it, you will be able to get the EXP Core, which you'll be able to enhance any skills you want, even the Spider Mirror, uh, mirror Spill skill as well. 3 per world only Then we also have this uh, Chaos Circulator Right, you open the Chaos Circulator This is how it looks like It, it, it basically ran, randomize your, your stats over here To give you a higher or lower one So yeah, depends on your luck So okay So uh, this is 3 per world only Then this is the newest one Legendary Circulator Only you can use it if you are not on legendary rank on your inner ability Right if your inner ability is higher than legendary, you will not be able to use it. Okay? Not higher than legendary, it's high legendary, you'll not be able to use it. So once you use it, it will directly jump to legendary, right? So this is 4,000 coins, once per world only, right? Very nice. So a lot of these items are not inter account tradable. So the rest I didn't mention is not inter account tradable. So you have to buy it on a specific character. Choose it properly, all right? Now, that is the Aisha shop over here. Now, we're gonna talk to this Messiah over here. This is the another one. This is called the Enhancement Shop, right? This is Mayal, right? Enhancement Neo Stone. Using the same Neo Stone as well, okay? The first shop over here unlocks when you unlock the event, okay? So, this is all about Enhancement. The best thing ever. 100 Even Ring Cube. Very nice. It gets you up to legendary, everybody. 100 power, everybody. Very nice indeed. So all of these items are untradeable. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this side, these items are untradeable. This one, they are tradable, right? So as you can see, long text over there. This is tradable within the whole world, right? So okay, the next item of all, which is the 100% uh, epic potential score, tradable within the whole world, five per world. Then we have the special additional potential scroll. Uh, this is 100% as well. Tradable between the whole world. 5 per world as well. We have this hammer. 100%. 20 per world. Tradable within the whole world. And we have the... Uh, this has got 60% innocent scroll. 20 of them. Tradable within the whole world as well. Stamp. Go to potential stamp. 20 of them per world. Tradable within the whole world and as well as special edition potential stamp 20 per world tradable within the whole world so a lot of these items over here are tradable within the whole world so if i don't mention them they're tradable within the whole world so yeah then we have the next one stage two five thousand coins once you open five we have accumulated five thousand uh new stones you better unlock this Pet scrolls, everybody. 100% pet scrolls, 2 to 4 weapon attack, 10 per world. Then we have uh, magic attack, 2 to 4, 10 per world. We have rainbow flames, 20 of them per world. We have red flame, 20 of them per world. We have uh, uh, clean state, 100% 
Um, oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is only karma only. So you can only work on karma items. That means untradeable items. Tradable items does not work. Right? So it's only workable on untradeable items only. Okay. Then we have this uh, clean state, 100% fight per world. Then we have the uh, the craftsman skill, 15 per world. Karma only, you can only use it on untradeable items, okay? Goes up to unique rank only. Then we have this. My skill over here is 30 per world, all right? Goes up to legendary, everybody. So untradeable items only. Then this is the additional uh, strange potential cube over here. 30 per world, only rare. Um, it's uh, tradable between the whole world as well. Next one. Oh, ho. 15,000 coins. You better unlock this over here, all right? So, if you have accumulated 15,000 coins over here, you'll be able to unlock it. So, uh, 5,000 coins for a potential scroll. And it is karma. So, you need to use it on untradeable items only, okay? Any items, even arcane shade, no level requirement, okay? Very nice indeed. Instant, you get unique. Okay, then we have the 17 star scroll over here, right? So this 17 star scroll over here, only usable for items 160 level and below. You can use it on episode lab and below only, okay? 17 star directly, everybody. On karma as well, untradeable items only, okay? Once per world. And we also have this selective event ring voucher. Okay, the selective event ring voucher is actually one of the best because you don't have to worry about anything. You buy this voucher, it's five per world, but this is untradeable, okay? Make sure you buy on the correct character because it is untradeable. This voucher is untradeable, okay? So the amount of items that you're gonna get over here, you need to choose, right? Either you can choose from the Tenebri string, the Glory ring, or the Awake ring. All right, and it gives you fully scroll as well. All the scrolls they will give it to you. You just have to scroll it yourself. Okay, so uh, this is how all the rings looks like. And once you scroll, you get the full stats. Okay, you have to take note of that and make sure you buy it on the character that does not have the ring because you can't have both of the ring. It will not allow you to open it. Okay, you make sure about that. All right. So yeah, now next shop over here. Hey hey, we gotta take a look at the. Gem shop. This is the blue shop over here. So the blue shop over here is called the Neo Gem Shop. Okay. The Neo Gem Shop over here, you gotta talk to Karen over here. Karen over here will give you all these items over here. There's no special limit that you need to uh, coin cap until what uh, accumulative until what you end unlock. As long as you have the coin, you can just buy it. There's no restriction. Okay. First item of all, Aurora Damage Skin, once per character. The damage skin looks like this. Uh, it's actually pretty nice, as you can see. It's a bit, um, I don't know, it's a bit uh, messy over here to me. I don't know, I, I mean, a lot of people like it. <laughs> it's actually pretty nice as well, as you can look at this. I mean, I would get it uh, on my character, because this is actually pretty nice. But it's a bit messy, but never mind. Then we also have the next item of all, which is the Neo Castle Outfit Set. Okay, the Neo Castle outfit set. You can only buy it once per character. I don't know why, but yeah, if you're playing a zero, yeah, you need to buy on another character and then cash, wait for cash transfer event and transfer over. So, because the only difference is the overall, right? The male and the female one, you can see over here, right? The only difference is the overall only. That's it. <laughs> That's the only difference, okay? So, it's once per world. It's actually pretty cute also. Now, next one. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. This is the most scariest uh, android of all times. Like, <laughs> and it doesn't really have any much expression or anything. It just stands there. <laughs> this is the Lunroid over here. Alright. It's the female one. Lunroid is the female one. It comes with the heart as well. A free heart. Don't worry about it. And um, it, it, it has a shop as well, so when you open it, you can sell your items over there. This is how it looks like. Pretty nice. At first, it's actually pretty nice, but when you look at it pretty long, it's pretty scary. <laughs> but yeah, it's just to me. Then the next one, which is the uh, Leoroid, right? It's the male version. The male version looks pretty handsome, right? So this is the male version over here. 
and um, this is how it looks like. It, it has a, it has a, a heart as well, and it has a shop, right? So that's very nice indeed. Then we have the oh, this chair is beautiful, my guy. This is the Neo Castle chair. This is once per character as well. A lot of these items are once per character, right? The Neo Castle chair, very nice, right? You can see over here, and then you can sit with two directions as well. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Then the next one, we have the Sea Sculpture chair. This you can only sit in one direction. Very, very nice chair indeed. You are just inside the box itself. Wow. And the next item of all, we have the Aurora Jewel Riding. This is a permanent riding voucher. You can fly with it. It's actually very nice. You can start flying it. Very nice indeed. Then we also have this uh, snowman riding. I don't know whether in summer when you guys get the update, you still have this snowman, but... It looks like this. They might change something up, right? Yeah, you never know. So the snowman riding looks like this. It's permanent as well. Yeah. Then next up, we have the uh, random damage skin box, right? This is unlimited. There's a percentage over there on that. We're going to read out, right? The, it might change on your server, but I'm just going to read out. Snowflake damage skin, lovely damage skin, space damage skin, rainbow cloud damage skin, night uh, sky damage skin, monsters damage skin, snow blossom damage skin, keyboard warrior damage skin, ice pier, ice piece damage skin, sorry, and latte damage skin over there. So this is unlimited, okay? Then we also have this uh, selective job damage skin. This is unlimited as well over here. Yeah, as you can see, we have holy damage skin, demonic damage skin, poison flame damage skin, blue strike damage skin, hero phantom damage skin, uh, Mercedes damage skin, light and darkness damage skin, fury damage skin, mecha damage skin, saluna damage skin, chest damage skin, transcend of time damage skin, superstar damage skin, sky damage skin, hybrid damage skin, arc. Kadena, Elam, Pathfinder, Serpent, Shadow, and Ho Young damage skin over here. Very nice indeed. Then um, we also have this damage skin expansion coupon over here, which is 5 per character. And lastly, we have a 40 bag slot. You can put in any uh, 40 chair bag slot. You can put in any chairs that you want. All right, so maximum you can only have two bag, two, two open bag slot in your inventory. Very nice indeed, 40 bag slot. All right, it's once per character. So all these items over here are actually untradeable. Okay, then next stuff. Ho 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 ho. The red one. Mm -hmm. We gotta take a look at the red one. So this is the new course. New course is all about. The boss, right? The boss itself. So the boss itself, I would like to stress that that is also giving you a special skill over here, right? This is a special skill, right? As you can see, this is a special skill, passive skill, according to your new course level. The higher your points, the higher the level it goes. As you can see in this whole screen over here, this is the level and the requirement of how many new cores you need in order to unlock different level of that uh, passive buff, right? This is only available for the whole event itself. It's actually a temporary buff, but very, very nice indeed, okay? You can have a look at all of that over here, the full stat itself. Very nice stat indeed, good stats. Okay, so as you can see over here, this is the amount of bosses that I've done, right? So you can see that all these, blah, 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 all the chaos bosses, all this over here, all right? G uh, not not Jinhila, but yeah, chaos bosses over here. So you can talk to the NPC to actually understand how to get the new course over here. So I'm just gonna read it out over here. I'm not quite sure other servers gonna change it or not, but if they, they are not gonna change it, then it's gonna be the same, okay? So you get five new course if you kill. Uh, you have to kill it in the map, okay? But if you are party up, as long as you are in the map, people kill it, it's okay. But if you died out, it doesn't count, okay? It died out, it doesn't count. So, uh, Heart Healer, Chaos Ping Bean, uh, Easy Sickness, and Normal Sickness. You get five new cores, okay? Once you kill the boss, come here, talk to the NPC, you get the, you get the new cores, okay? 10 new cores, Chaos Zakum, Chaos PA, Chaos Wornborn, and also uh, Chaos Queen. 10 new cores, each and each and every one of them. So it's 10, 10, 10, 10, okay? 20 new cores after you kill uh, Heart Magnus and Chaos Worm. So this is 20, 20, okay? 30 new cores if you kill Chaos Papu, Su, Normal Su, uh, Lotus, Normal Damien, and Easy Lucid. 
Okay. 40 new cars as you defeat normal lucid, normal will, normal dust, and normal dunkel. Okay, 40, 40, 40, 40. 60 if you kill hard Damien, hard Sue, which is hard Lotus, hard lucid, and hard will. 70 new cores if you kill chaos dusk, hard dunkel, or the jungle, or whatever you want to call it. Or Jin Hila, Heretic Hila, Furus Hila. Okay, so 70, 70, 70 over here. So, how do you max this out? Since this is per well, you can basically ask someone else to carry you into this other bosses over here, the normal version. Or you can find like six people on your other character, not your main, to kill the normal version. Then on your main, you kill the uh, hard mode or the chaos mode one. So you can get double the coins. That means you can you can get the normal coins and as well as the uh, the hard coins as well over here. So this is the whole coin over here. I need to explain this because you guys are gonna ask me later on, all right? So that is the explanation of Neo cost you can acquire per week. Boss, right? Per weekly boss. So these are the weekly boss you can get. Only weekly boss will give you. Black Mage or Seren will not give new cost. Okay? Yeah, I have to stress that. Daniel Seren will not give. After you, after you kill the boss, come do this. Talk to the NPC. There will be a red text over here. Once you talk to it, you will get the cost over here. So this is the cost. You have to talk to the NPC. If you don't redeem it, if you're over the reset, you will not be able to redeem it. Remember to redeem it, okay? And then they'll tell you you, you haven't redeemed it yet. So, now, that's it, okay? So we have the skills and the weekly amount you can get, okay? So now, we're gonna take a look at oh, the items you can get, everybody. So there are two different stages over here. First stage, it unlocks when the event opens, okay? So first stage over here, five additional cube voucher, tradable between the whole world, okay? Everything's over here is tradable between the whole world. So you have to take note of that. Five per world, five egg pot cubes, everybody. Very nice indeed. Then we have 60%, 60%. Incredible chaos scroll. This is the icons, all right? 30 per world. Very nice indeed. Karma. Oh yeah, this is karma as well. Karma. Red flame. 10 per world. Karma rainbow flame. 10 per world. This is tier, tier 6. This is tier 7 only, right? And we have the black flames over here, right? Once you use it on the item, you can choose whether you want to keep the previous stat or the current stat. It looks like black cubes, but this is for flames, okay? Five per world. And that's a special two items of this in this sp first stage, which is the Arcane River Droplet, 50 on reboot. All right? But it requires 20 cores, uh, new cores. And uh, Primal Droplet as well, 50 uh, on reboot, okay? 20 of uh, Neo cores as well. So yeah, so that's for reboot, okay? It's not here because I'm not in reboot. Then the next one over here, this one, you can see, you need 2,000 accumulatively, 2,000 uh, new cores over here in order to unlock this whole section over here. So I don't have 2,000 accumulatively, so I can't unlock it yet, okay? So yeah, you can see over here, we have the five additional potential uh, cube package over here. When you open it, you get a five additional cube pack, right? This is two per world, tradable. The box is tradable between the whole world, okay? Then after that, we have the raid karma flames over here. You open it, you get five raid karma flames and five boxes per world, all right? Then we also have the rainbow flame, five per world as well. When you open it, you get five rainbow flame. We have black flames over here, two per world. When you open it, you'll be able to get five karma black flames, okay? Then, we have the Karma 100% <coughs> Oh, Mamma Mia mm. Oh, the pet school choked me 500, uh, sorry Karma 100% Premium Pet Equipment Attack Scroll This is 100% 5, 4, uh, 4 to 5 weapon attack 
8 per wall only, okay? 8 per wall. This is another one, which is the pet uh, magic attack scroll. 8 per wall, all right? Then we have the accessory, karma accessory. Remember, you can only use it on untradable items. Karma is always untradable. Over here, five, 4 to 5 weapon attack, 5 per wall only. Then this is a uh, magic attack karma accessory uh, scroll, 5 per wall. Okay, so these are all the items over here. This is one of the best, best shop of all times, right? Now, let's take a look at the... Ta -ta! Ah, this is the museum over here. The Neo Meso Shop, everybody. Neo Meso Shop. It comes with the catch. You need to have at least the Neo Stones, right? Yeah, they have accumulated for 5,000 Neo Stones. You will be able to unlock the first stage. The second stage is 15,000 Neo Stones. Alright, gotta showcase all the items over here. So, using Mesos. Of course, the Mesos uh, purchase over here might change according to your server. Check the event notes and patch notes, okay? So, the first item of all, which is the Rainbow Flame 40 per world. And all the items here are tradable within the whole world. Some of them are untradable. I will mention it if it's untradable, okay? So this is tradable within whole world, okay? 40 per character, Karma. Karma, Red Flame, 40 per character as well. And we have this Selective Marble Skin Care Coupon, okay? It's a, a very, I don't know, weird? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Skin Care Coupon, right? You can have five per world. It looks like this, different types of skin over here, as you can see, right? Um, yeah. Feel free to choose one. <laughs> then we also have the next one, which is the uh, Selective Event Android Coupon over here. Five per world, and you can choose between this list of Android. And the Android, the real problem is, it doesn't give you the heart, okay? So there are various Androids over here, but it doesn't give you the heart. Alright, so these are all the androids you can have a look at that. It just doesn't give you the heart. So you have to have a heart. If not, you just gotta have the android. Okay? Then, we also have this chicken set over here. The bean chicken set. Once per world. Uh, it looks like this. I don't know why I put once per world for this one. But yeah, it once per world. <laughs> it's a chicken set. It's how it looks like. And we also have this. Uh, this is, I think a lot of people asked this one during the... Uh, the previous update this is a sky blue uh bear set it's actually very nice it's once per wall as well so if you are a zero you want to equip on both male and female if you had you didn't have the previous event one then yeah you need to wait for another event to get another one because it's once per wall okay so it's how male and female looks like it's actually very nice i love this as well then we also have this uh very nice, uh, very clean as well. Special gardener set, all right? This is a special garden set. Uh, once per war as well, looks like this. Yeah, very nice indeed. Then we also have this one, which is the uh, lucky fill set. Looks like this, also once per war. So if you're playing a zero, yeah, it's kind of sad. So it's a male, and then we have the female version as well over here. It's like very nice indeed. And the next one, we have this. Ah, this is the previous event. Now, uh, this is the playful outfit. Very nice indeed. I love this set. I miss this set. And this is uh, once uh, per wall as well. So, yeah. Then we also have the fishy. The fishy, fishy riding, everybody. This is permanent once per wall as well. Okay. This tarayaki, tayaki riding. Then 15,000 coins. 17 star karma scroll okay this is for level 160 items and below untradeable uh items only but this is trade this scroll is tradable between the whole world so you can buy it on this character and give it to another one it's 1.5 b which i think is not worth because it's 17 stars but yeah once per world everybody then we have the uh icox all right incredible chaos scroll over here 50 per wall, 60%, very nice. Then we have this, uh, okay, this is the accessory, right? Accessory scroll, weapon attack 4 to 5, 100%, 5 per wall. 
And we have accessory magic attack 4 to 5, 5 per world. It's untradeable. Okay, it's untradeable. Then we also have the pet uh, karma as well. Um, 4 to 5 weapon attack 10 per world. And 4 to 5 magic attack 10 per world. So all of these are karma and they are all untradeable. Okay. Then we have the. Oh, I think a lot of people are gonna buy this. I'm not quite sure, but it's 2 build. A very hard, very nice indeed. One per world only, right? It's actually one of the best installed in KMS, so yeah, very nice, okay? So this is once per world, untradeable as well. Then this is the uh, Android Ear uh, Sensor Clip. So this is once per world, you can use it to hide your Android ears, right? It makes you, makes you look like a real character, right? Then we also have, this is the uh, soft petal skin android uh, coupon. Once you double click it, it will change the android uh, skin to a soft petal skin, right? Once per world as well, untreatable. Then this is a uh, uh, blush pet, yeah, blush petal skin is once per world. When you change it, you change your blush uh, petal skin for android only, once per world. Then lastly, we have this one, which is the uh, Saint Luminous set, right? This is three per world, everybody. So this is how the set looks like. And it's actually very nice. It's tradable within the whole world. And uh, this is how it looks like, okay? Very clean as well. Then we also have this uh, Mew Mew Feather Voucher, three per world. And uh, it's a cash item. It looks like this. It has the wings. Kind of OG. Yeah, very nice. Looks like this. Then the next one we have the sp Spirit Nine Tail uh, uh, cape as well. So this is how it looks like a Nine Tail fox thingy, right? Triple world. This one actually looks nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Then lastly, ah, this is the Freshman School look hairband. The hat. Okay. Triple world. And this looks like this. Looks pretty weird on my character, but uh, yeah. <laughs> this kind looks very weird on this one, but yeah, it looks like this, okay? So that is for the old the coin shop. Now, 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 we have a special coin capping event. We should talk to the star over here. You talk to this one, over here, this option over here. It's called the Leo Expedition Journal. Looks like this. This is the journal. This journal is very irritating. Cause you have to every day, I'm uh, not every day, every time when it resets every week, you have to accept it in order for the quest to run. So if you forgot to accept it, the quest will not run. So even if you kill like 10,000 mobs already, it, it still says zero if you didn't accept the quest. You have to accept it. So what you're gonna get is every week it will reset, all right? Every week, all right? Throughout the whole event, you'll be able to get extra coins. What's the extra coins? This is 10,000 mobs. Uh, this is 20 elite monsters, alright? Uh, elite mobs. Then we have 7 runes, and also 5 polo and free toll, polo or free toll portals, alright? You clear 10,000 mobs, you get 100 extra uh, Neo Stones. This one, 20 elite mobs, and uh, 100 as well. 7 runes, you clear it, you get 200. 5 Polo and Frito, you get 400. So 400, 200, 100, 100. That's how you get it. Okay, there's an extra coin every week. And it does not count towards your daily limit. Okay, it does not count to your daily limit. And it is shared throughout the whole world. The progress is shared throughout the whole world. So for example, you coin count on this character, you kill like 2,000 mobs already, you go to another character, you kill another 2,000 mobs, this will become 4,000. 4, Alright, and if you want to use the rune, you have seven characters already. Log in on every seven characters and then just open all the runes. <laughs> and then you just clear the seven runes. Okay, so this is the most tedious one the polo and free to portal. You have to wait for it to spawn, right? The rest of them, pretty easy. Okay, so every time you complete it, you have to make sure you accept the reward, accept the quest again, continue the quest, accept the reward, and accept the quest again. Remember to do that, else you will not start. Okay, very good indeed. This is every week. Every week, right? It's an extra one you can get. Extra coins you can get. Extra 800 coins to be exact. 
now we're gonna take a look at the new crystal shop over here this is a special shop by talking to this guy over here all right so as you remember you have to coin cap this one the neo stone in order to enter this shop and this shop has a specific duration it is shorter than any other shops over here so you need to check the patch notes for that so as long as you really coin cap here over here you go into this map with your strongest character you go in and kill the punch bag right punch king uh, you remember the last time the punch king right uh, kill the boss inside yeah this is how it looks like so as long as you don't redeem it you'll be able to retry again same as the previous event okay very simple indeed go in kill and see how strong you are you get the points so how does this work is that if you talk to this npc there will be an option to showcase the shop so you'll be able to uh basically purchase neo growth potion one which requires 5,000 points, right? 5,000 points, but that will only be usable for level 200 to 209 characters. You get one level, any level above that, it just gives you a specific amount of EXP, okay? The Growth Potion 2, which requires 10,000 points, will be able for level 210 to 219 characters, give you one level, anything above that, give you a specific amount of EXP. Growth Potion 3, 15,000 points, right? 220 to 229 give you one level anything above that specific amount of exp and then we have typhoon growth potion right Thirty thousand points if you have thirty thousand points you can buy the typhoon growth potion it gives you one level for level 230 to 239 anything above that you specific amount of exp the newest item of all which is the level 240 to 249 this is the maximum growth potion everybody 40,000 points it give you a one level at level 240 to 249 and if you are higher than that it give you a specific amount of, you can see the exp over there right so that's the specific amount of exp over here so these are all the potions that you can get and as you as i mentioned the first growth potion only requires 5,000 points so by the event like nearing to the end of the event of, of this Know that this is uh, earlier, so you have to check the patch notes. So you're gonna get like maybe 45k points, right? 45k points. That means you can continue to buy the po the first potion, right? Continue, keep buying, buying, buying. There's no limit of any other potion. As long as you have the points, you can continue to buy them. There's no limit, okay? It shares throughout the whole world. There's no limit, okay? So you have to make sure you buy the correct one, all right? Okay, so that is for the... Growth Potion, the special invincible coin, right? And uh, that is it for the Neo Coin Shops, Missile Shop, the whole Neo Castle event, right? The Neo event over here, everything over here, okay? So I hope you guys get some insights of all this new items over here and uh, basically see it before you buy it and make sure the, you coin cap every day coin capping in the early stages is gonna take like 15 to 18 minutes uh if you're fast 12 minutes okay you keep like 2.8k mobs to 3000 mobs early stage at the end stage it, it will go faster right at the end stage it goes faster it takes me about if fast six minutes if slow about 15 minutes right the end end one is actually very very easy to coin cap so yeah it's actually pretty easy so I can't get more four characters, so that's it. Four characters is enough, right? Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, stay awesome, everybody, and stay safe. Bye bye.